If you're ready to organize your business with Notion, but you just don't know where to start, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Anna Cushard. I'm a Notion consultant for business owners. And in today's video, I just want to show you my favorite structure for you to build a dashboard so you can track everything from your habits, your personal stuff, and everything related to your business all in the same place. So let's get into it. If you've been doing some research or just scrolling through different Notion templates and Notion setups out there, you've probably seen a thousand different ways to do it and to build it. And that's because one of the best and worst parts of Notion itself is that there are many, many ways to build the same thing. But the downside is that whenever we want to get ready, it's like, where do I even start? And I, in my opinion, most of the templates or setups out there, you're going to see them with like a lot of widgets and like cute giant pink clocks and like just different gifs and, and images already. But for me, a Notion dashboard should be useful. Of course, it should be like aesthetic and like easy to use. But most of it, it's like the most important thing is that it should be useful and easy for you to use. So you have all your information stored in there, but at the same time, you need to have easy access to that information. So I'm just going to guide you through the typical Notion dashboards that I will bid for any of my clients and just to teach you like the different stages and the different purpose of um, every different section for it. As you can see, we have two different main regions uh, for any dashboard and one would be this column at the left where we're going to store all of our information and all our details and data. And then on the other hand, we have the main focus of the dashboard. And in this second section is where we're going to present and bring um, up front the information that we're going to need the most or just the information that we want to check frequently or just every day. This whole setup, for example, is a real case um, scenario that I built. I actually created this dashboard for a client of mine. She needed, she had just so many things going on in her mind. She was like, I need to get my personal stuff together. I need to do my job. I need to get my job together. But at the same time, I need to start building everything for my business in order to make sure that I'm moving forward. So she needed just a place to make sure that she had everything organized and she was on top and controlling everything that, go that was going on in her life. And for her specific situation, we just created these different areas. So in terms of what kind of information are we going to store, we created the personal side and then the business side. And then, of course, I always love to add a little notes section that's going to work as a post-it note. So if you add by any moment, at any moment, you have a, a thought or like a reminder or something just goes across your mind, you just go into the notes section, write it in, at least it's saved in there. And then on the front page uh, of the dashboard, at the very top, she wanted to check what habits she was doing every single day. And then the biggest section for the setup was to just have access, a clear access of what do I need to do today? So for all the tasks that were hiding across the personal stuff and the business stuff with all the different categories that we have inside our business, just to make sure what's urgent and important to do for today. And then also to have the second view so she could like see the whole week or like the whole month and be also able to just plan ahead and see what's uh, needed for the next days. So starting with the habits, for example, in this section that I'm going to show you, you can see all the habits that you've done like for the, for the whole month and for the whole year. But in here, we have a calling to that database that's only that's filter, as you can see here. So it's only going to show us the habits for today. So every single day we will have like a new blank mm, card. And we can be like, okay, did we run today? Or I don't know, did we exercise? Did we meditate? Uh, did we get X hours of sleep? And did we journal? You can just go in here and it's like really easy to just change the name of the habit and everything else. So like, just to show you as an example, but yes, you can check this in here. And then if you go to the whole habit section, you're going to see that in here, it lies the whole database. And whenever we enter in here, we can see the whole list for the previous days and the previous month and like, have a bit of a look around of how well are we doing into our own journey. Then on the other hand, we have the tasks. So the thing with tasks, I think it's one of the most, actually the most important thing to run our personal life and also like our business life. Um, but we need a simple system. We need a, sim a system to, to run them because if not, it's like everything is all over the place, at least in my opinion and my, in my client situation. So for the tasks, what we have in here is like Let's call it the endless. Okay, right now it's like a quick example, but in two weeks, this is gonna have like, I don't know, 50 different tax, tasks. So it's this endless list of all the tasks that um, you need to have or that you're storing. But the key to manage tasks or to be like an easy to use task management system 
is to store all the information, but at the same time, define some simple categories um, and different properties in order to manage that information and be able to filter it afterwards. So for example, for the tasks, for each one of them, we have what's the name of the task, is it done or not? Um, the area, like, is it something personal or is it something business related? And if it's business related, does it belong to like some business admin? Is it for the, for example, the new course that I'm going to be launching? Um, is it for content for Instagram? Is it for my blog, for my newsletter? Like, what's the context for there? When is it this task due? Like, what's the due date? And then also the priority, because if not, we've always like, we tend to like sit down in front of the computer and be like, okay, I have like 20 tasks to do today. Like, what are the actual, like, what are the actually important ones? And we can have them as an endless list, or we can also like use these extra tags to like group the information. So it's going to be easier to manage on the long term. But again, in like the goal for this is to, in this section, store all the tasks. But then in this section in here, we're just going to do another calling. So like link to database, and we're going to start to apply some filters. And for this example, um, what I did was in this section, I just want to see two things. Number one, the tasks that the due date is today. So what do I need to do today? But on another hand, what are the tasks that are already like, how do you say, like that are pending? So like the due date was before today, but for some reason they are not done already. So if there are some tasks that I forget to do today, I know they are not like forgotten or lost because like tomorrow they are going to appear in here again. So then it's like, I know I have everything under control automatically and I'm not losing stuff around. And we can have it as with this like list um, view, let's call it. But then another another favorite um, view of mine is to have it on this weekly setup. So it's like easy, like whenever you're like planning your week on Sundays or something, you get the whole view and it's like really easy to like plan ahead. This regarding tasks. Then we have some like quick sections to like just bring down information from our personal site. But in here you can also add all these little free templates, notion templates that you get from, I don't know, a freebie that another business owner is sharing or like a friend of yours just like any any template that you are, are curious about and you just want to try and test you can just add them in here for example i also always love to add a brain dump section because it's like whenever you get an idea you come here and you like write it down um or like a reference or something so you know like everything is in here and nothing is lost again but maybe you still don't know what to do with that information it's on the brain dump section and of course another classic one is like to have this kind of gratitude tracker so you can have like little individual cards and each one, each blah, blah, blah. every single day, a new card is created and you can just fulfill it. And then you have like a bit of your personal evolution also hidden in here. Again, this is like just a suggestion. It's not mandatory to have. And then on the business side, which is also the most important, you can start tracking everything that's in like whenever we're starting a business or when we're already running a business, we have so many things going on in our heads that it's like I need to brain dump all the information or all the last minute pop-ups, uh, ideas that pop up in our brains, but also come, also come back and make sure that nothing is lost and like that we're track on time. So for example, for this specific client, she was starting her newsletter, she was preparing all her content for the socials, and then she was starting to develop her first online course. So we created different sections where she could like just going there and bring down everything. Sometimes we're just taking a shower, just going for a walk and it's like, oh, I need to share this with my newsletter. You just go in here, Again, bring down and copy and paste all the information in here. So then whenever you are planning your next newsletters, like the next emails that you're going to send, you already have the information in here and you don't have to like start from scratch or start thinking again. And then besides the newsletter, we also had, for example, the content. And for the content, it's similar, but with the extra of actually being able to plan the dates for everything that you're going to post. So on one hand, we have the different information or like different pieces of content that we want to publish. Then it's super easy to um, have at the same time a calendar. So you have like the ideas on one side and then you just need to like track and literally drop every idea into a single day of the month. And then you see the whole month. So like you can see what needs to be done and everything that is planned. So for example, if I'm all right, uh, imagine that this is like done already, I just like paste it in here, not paste it, like just track and drop it. And it's so, so, so easy and intuitive to like bring down the information you want to share or the content you want to share and then organize it because everything is still at the same place and it's really easy to use. And then if you go to the last one, for example, she was um, preparing a new course and it's like, there's, I, I've never prepared an online course, right? And I can imagine how many things are constantly going through your head because if you are preparing an online course, it means that you have so many things you want to share that you really need to like 
organize it and prepare it with calm because if not if, I bet it can be like feel like super overwhelming so for the course it goes like okay let's start for the beginning what's the ideal client that this course is for what's the problem I'm solving and the typical um, transformation from A to B that I want my clients to help and be able to solve then what's all the the content structure that's going to be inside the course, like what it's going to be the categories or the modules, any references from like other courses or landing pages, like, I don't know, information, inspiration that you've seen or learned um, over the years, you just paste it in here. Then another uh, small database to actually create every single one um, of the modules. And then afterwards that you've done all the hard work of thinking about and actually developing a, a course, then you need to launch it, which it's a whole other thing and learning marketing. I don't know. There's so many things going on when creating a business or just running one, like as a solo business owner. So you also have like the launch section. And in here it's like, again, you can just brain dump all the ideas that you have. Also like paste some references from other launches you've, you've seen. And in here, we're going to be able to see the tasks that we were showing first at the main dashboard that were related to course. So like any tasks that I have to do that have the target, the tag, course added are going to appear automatically in here. So it's also really easy to choose, like move them around and plan ahead of time and see like what's going to be your goal workload um, for the following weeks, or at least make sure that you have all your tasks written down and into the calendar to make sure that the creation of the course goes well, but also like the launch of the course goes well. And like, you're again, not forgetting anything. So yeah, this is the, um, this is a bit of like the summary and the introduction of What's for me the best structure for a dashboard? Because again, you can build so many different things in Notion. Not not only so many different things, but a same dashboard can look so many different ways. But for me, the one I've been using the most and the core structure and architecture that I use for all of my clients, it's always the same. As a summary, you want to have like on one side all the different areas of your business or life um, where you're gonna just store all the information. And then on the other side, you want to have this main region just to access the information you want to see the most. And in here, the question was, okay, what do I need to do today? This is why I want to check like the task section. But if you want to see like the thing you want to track the most is like the status of your clients or what's your team doing this week or like the status of your projects. Um, this is the um, database call up that like the link database that you want to place in here. So it's the first thing that you see when you open it. And this is it. But this was just one example based on the specific needs that a client of mine had. If you're running, like if you're using Notion, but you want to use it for your whole team, or if you have like a different kind of business, or if you have like other needs and requirements, like there are so many ways to like build a custom Notion setup um, specifically on what do you need for that. So if you have any questions uh, besides maybe wanting me to show you how to do this step by step or not, <laughs> Um, you can also ping me like you can ping me in any of my socials. I will leave my mail, my email also like down below and in the description, I'm going to leave you all my references. You can get my free guide in order to learn more on how to use Notion to organize and run peacefully your own business. I'm going to leave uh, a link for you to book a call with me if you need help se actually setting up a Notion for your business, but you just don't have time to read and watch all the tutorials. So you just want your questions. You just want answers to your specific questions. And I'm going to leave all the other references down there. So thank you so much for making it this far once more, and I will see you in the next one.